are celebrating Filipino American History Month with a taste of the culture. You might be familiar with that ah, a, little just a little bit. Just a little bit. No, I'm just a little Filipino. <laughs> uh, we are also getting a preview of Philippines Fest, so please welcome our guide, Angelin Francisco, Philippines Fest director and chef and owner of Cabisera. So you are here with three other chefs who are here to yes. share some of their lovely and tasty delights. Uh, but first, again, you're director of Philippines Fest. Tell, tell the folks at home what Philippines Fest is, because you have several events. Several, yes. Yeah, we started at April of this year, and actually tomorrow would be our last for the season here in New York. There's some few invitations outside the States, so we're working on that. But uh, we are a Filipino street fair. Uh, primarily um, empowering all the Filipino small businesses to cater their food in the street, Metro New York. So this is the first time that we're bringing all Filipino vendors in the street of New York. That's so, awesome. Yes. All right, so you brought some dishes with us. First of all, we're going to start with ube. T tell us about ube. What is it? Ube is actually a Tagalog word. Um, it is a, a root crop mm -hmm. from the Philippines. Uh, it's comparably to sweet potato, but it's a uh, ube with a short scrub. It's a nutty, nuttier, vanilla-like taste, but okay. it's more like, I would say, drier than the potatoes taste yeah. like. And it's become so widespread, you can even see, see it in products at Trader Joe's exactly. now, which is crazy. Exactly. So what do you have exactly here? So we have here the classic Filipino. Well, the ube can it be done into pastries, and this is ice cream, oh kind of like. Yeah, but uh, we call it ice candy. Okay. okay. So we use that also in in that liquid form, which is frozen, and the tradition is usually added into rice. Okay. Because Philippines is very big in rice. So this is a ube bigo. Oh, I so love the bigo. ube halo halo ice candy, the ube hopia, and this is the ube pandesal. If oh. you may, you will see what is in inside is Ube and oh, okay, I'm gonna try. Uh -oh. <laughs> so I, I while, figured while we... you were gonna try some a little bit. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try this. All right. Well, uh, while you are Ooh, doing that, it's still that, warm. Oh, it is. Yes, oh, it man. is warm. Okay. All right. So we also have three other vendors oh, yes. from Philippines Fest. Okay. With well, us. we're gonna walk down here. Yeah. While, while I eat. Mm -hmm. Yep. So All right. We have Hayden de Mesa. Hayden de Mesa. We have uh, we have Gobind uh, M. Lutero. Lutero. Thank you. Lutero. Sorry. I'm I, I said it with an Italian accent. I'm sorry. I don't know why. Uh, all right. And well, let's, yeah. Let's talk about uh, some of the dishes here. First of all, uh, what what did you bring to the showcase? What did you bring? Yeah. So I brought the flan cake. This oh. is the one of my best seller. It's okay. a chiffon cake on the bottom and a flan cake on top. And we also have the tres leche, but we put like a halaya whipped cream on top of it. And in between, we also have the ube halaya, which is made of coconut dehydrated uh, ube and butter oh. so it looks it, it's really good for toast or you know breakfast mm. anything that you can dip in it yeah. and we also have the milk bowls this is the popular dessert for kids okay uh it's mid milk and condensed milk and oh, powder oh i've had so it's this like as basic, a kid basic uh recipe Craig, do you want to try it so obviously we are highlighting ube because it's become it's gained so much popularity do you want to try one of the candies i'll try gonna... one later because you know i gotta i gotta talk you, well i'm, I'm not, not gonna, good at eating i'm gonna try the candy the you, you know me it, you go ahead and try that all right let's uh but well, we got uh gobin with? gobin gobin tell us what you have brought excuse me okay, as i continue to eat yeah, my yeah. way down the world here First of all, my name is Gobin Gutero. I am 22 years old and I am the sole owner and pastry chef of Gobi's Goods. Oh. Today we have a variety of different ube um, pastries. Um, in the top row here we have an ube creme brulee danish, so it's puff pastry base filled with the ube pastry cream. And then I torch, I brulee um, turbinado sugar on top. Mm -hmm. This right here is my best seller. It's called the CEO of Ube Donut. I'm sure most of you are familiar with it if Ooh. you follow me on Instagram. <laughs> so it's an ube brioche donut. It's filled with the ube halaya pastry cream. Wow. It's covered in ube sugar, topped with ube chantilly, and then dainty little ube caramel shards. Oh, it's almost like an ube cro good. cronut. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Um, on the lower rack right here, starting here, we have an ube shoe. Um, essentially, it's a cream puff, so it's also filled with the ube halaya pastry cream. Wow. It's topped with chantilly and garnished with ube chips. Okay. Right here is a variation of a cinnamon roll. Um, I wanted to leave this exposed so people know that it's not exactly a cinnamon roll, and okay. I'd rather roll it with ube halaya. Okay. And this? 
Um, this is a ube macaron, oh, and then man. this is just a ube cookie. <laughs> oh, wow. Ube all over the place. Look at right. this. And finally, oh. before, of course, I'm going to grab one. Okay. Um, finally, <laughs> we have Emily. Emily. Emily, what do you have here? Hi, I'm representing South by here today. Um, we are known for our fluffy souffle pancake, and we've infused a Filipino ube into our souffle pancake as well. As you see here, this is our ube pancake with sprinkles on top. Ooh. We have a ube, um, ube cream with cube croissant, so cube-shaped croissant with ube That's cream. That's a croissant? It is. Craig, look at that. It's a cube shaped croissant. Yep. <laughs> okay. And then right in front here, we have um, creme brulee custard cup with um, ube and also original flavor with a souffle pancake on top. We have an ube white chocolate and Ooh. also an ube latte. Well, are any of you surprised by how much popularity ube has become just in mainstream desserts, mainstream <laughs> food? Yes. Yeah? Everyone, we're surprised right now, and then we're trying to really reinvert that. So this is all like from classic to mm. modern to fusion um, offerings of all ube. All right. Wow. Well, uh, thank you guys all for coming today oh and giving us yeah. ube all yeah. day. Uh, ube all day. Ube, ube all day. <laughs> celebrating Filipino American History Month at Philippines Fest tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Kent Avenue. That's in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Well, all of you here are the pride of the Philippines, so thank you so much for coming here. Thank, thank you for sharing all your delicious food. Thanks for joining.